Like this video if you like Ben 10. Hello, my brothers and sisters. By God, this is your brother in Christ, Abstraction Itzel, here with another video. In this Omni News video, we have some awesome Ben 10 news to cover, so let's just get right into it. For our first story, we have exclusive animatics footage for Ben 10 vs. the Universe. This footage is exclusive to the DVD, which I was actually planning to get once it came to Walmart stores. But since Warner Bros is deciding to upload some of the animatics for free, I guess I don't need the DVD anyway. So far, we only have access to two of the animatics clips. One of them is the scene with Ben testing out Omni-Not Jetray, and the other is the scene with Kevin fighting Vilgax before Vilgax takes the anti tricks. Side note by the way, Vilgax's voice sounds so different without the editing added to it. He actually sounds like Yuri without the editing. In other news, Duncan Rola has continued replying to tweets from fans on Twitter. You will surely want to hear what these tweets are about. One user asked why Ben didn't turn into the characters from the other three crossover series in Crossover Nexus, but Duncan misunderstood the question and actually replied with a very interesting answer. Duncan thought that he was asking why he didn't turn into a version of Ben from the original continuity, and said the quote, reboot is essentially the same Ben as all the other iterations. I really don't understand what he means by this, because there are so many things in the reboot that are completely different from the original continuity. I don't think he's saying they're in the same continuity, but I don't know what else he could be saying. I feel like this will be something we will learn more about in Season 5. It definitely ties in with the hints of seeing alternate versions of Ben in Season 5. Another user on Twitter asked if Kevin would appear in Season 5, and Duncan confirmed he'd appear but not in all the movies. I like this. I always thought season three had too much of Kevin, and season four toned it down with the Kevin episodes, and it looks like season five will continue to not overuse Kevin. Another user asked if Gravitac would return, and Duncan replied saying there were no plans to add him at the moment. Gravitac is another alien I feel is too op for the hands of a 10 year old Ben. Gravity is an op thing to control. Another user on Twitter asked questions. One of them being our questions about Kevin's aliens being answered, and Duncan replied saying the crew is working on something that will explain Kevin's aliens and the inner workings of the Antitrix. Speaking of Kevin and the Antitrix, another user asked if Kevin's aliens were mixed with the same hybrid aliens, or if they were different for each species, and Duncan said the DNA was the same as some of Ben's aliens, but the process in which Kevin merges is different. The user then asked if Kevin just merges the mixed alien hybrids with the mutant strain of DNA to create his aliens, and Duncan said this was close, but couldn't give away any more info since that would ruin some future stories. I guess this is just another thing we have to look forward to for Season 5. Another fan asked Duncan if the Omni Kicks and Omni Knot features worked for the temporarily unlocked aliens like Goop and Waven, and Duncan said they do. That same user asked if it was possible to see omni Kicks or omni Knot versions of the recently locked aliens, and Duncan said there were no plans for this anytime soon. Another user on Twitter asked if Jet Ray would get an Alien Worlds video, and if Skunk Mouth would appear more, and Duncan said there would be no Jet Ray Worlds video, and there is a definite chance we'll see more of Skunk Mouth. I'm kind of bummed out that there won't be a Jet Ray Worlds video. I actually really enjoyed the Alien World shorts, and I'd love to learn more about Jet Ray's home worlds and species, especially when we didn't learn much about them in the original continuity. Oh well. Another user asked if we'd see Ben's parents in Season 5, and Duncan said there were no plans for this. Another Twitter user asked if the reboot Omnitrix could recalibrate into any of the other Omnitrixes from the franchise, and Duncan said it could. That's actually pretty cool to know, but it kind of also makes sense since the watch has changed so much already. Another user asked if Jetpack Ben was canon, and Duncan said he was not canon. I guess that's just another toy that Playmates toys made for fun, just like the non-canon out of the Omnitrix toys. Another user asked if Michael Morningstar would appear in Season 5, and Duncan replied with a no. I will say Morningstar is one of the better villains in the reboot, but he did have a good time to shine, and a pretty good demise too. 
Another person asked if Animal still has the DNA of Benzalians, and Duncan said he does. That same person asked if we'd see Animo access the aliens in Season 5, and Duncan replied saying, Animo doesn't play a huge role in Season 5. Duncan has been hinting for a while that the Ultimatrix itself probably won't be in the reboots, but Duncan was asked if the concept could return, and Duncan said there's always a chance. However, he does say this to a lot of questions, so I can't imagine there's anything new planned with that. Another Benson fan asked if there were plans to continue Omniverse, and the answer was obviously a no. However, Duncan did say that there may be an older Ben show at some point, just not anytime soon. This next question is a good question, and Duncan gave it an interesting answer. Someone asked how Cannonbolt knows where he's going when in ball form, and Duncan replied saying Cannonbolt has fur on his body that registers shifts in air and motion around him, and his excellent hearing receives something akin to echolocation, giving him eyeless vision. Cannonbolt has fur? Cannonbolt has good hearing? Wow. I was not expecting that answer, but that's actually really cool and also makes Cannonbolt feel even more like a panda bear. In other news, Derek J. Wyatt was asked on Ask FM if he could post progress pictures of the new Ben 10 Omniverse alien designs, and Duncan said he could, once he actually makes some progress. I guess it will be a little bit before we get to see the aliens, but that's okay. It's nice to know he's taking his time and not rushing through them and giving them bad designs. He's also getting really close to the goal of $5,000. This Alien X guy must be really rich. But I guess when you can alter reality, it's the little things that count. I really do appreciate the work that my Discord members do with the collection of these news videos. The members in the Benton HQ Discord server are very helpful when it comes to these videos, and it would be way harder trying to do this alone. Feel free to join the Benton HQ Discord server if you want to talk about Ben 10 or anything else. Also, I'm sure some of you noticed that I haven't been uploading for the past couple Saturdays and ended up breaking my three videos per week streak. This is due to a combination of different reasons, both personal and business related, but I ask that you all be patient. I have a few brand new video series planned that might actually perform even better than Omni News, but these videos all require skill sets that I'm still learning and getting the hang of. I will get these videos done as soon as I possibly can, and I'll start pumping them out as soon as I can as well. I truly believe you guys will like these videos, but until then, expect the Tuesday and Thursday uploads. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and I truly hope to see you all in the next video. Don't forget to pray when you're in doubt. God bless. Oh, I'm still, oh, I'm still.